Hi Nicole, um, I decided to make a little video for you here instead of writing out, trying to write out all of the, the things that I had to suggest. So um, I know you're having trouble with these two and these are probably two of the hardest activities that we have. So um, they, in, in my opinion, they're kind of confusing. Um, but let me just kind of walk through them with you. This is the first one I think that you sent me. So we'll start here with number one. So this is um, activity number five, I think on chapter five. So what they're wanting you to do is read the sentence and then respond to it um, by agreeing with the statement but changing the demonstrative adjective from this to um, that or from that to this, depending on what they've already put in the sentence. So for example, in number one, it says, este grupo es fenomenal, which means this group is phenomenal. So that means your job is to say yes, and that group is phenomenal also, which you've basically done. There's one little thing I think might be throwing you off on a couple of these though, is I looked on the answers and in the example, they put C comma E, ese grupo. So yes, and that group is phenomenal too. So add the little Y here for the word and right in between your comma and your next word. And I think that just because it's the computer program and they want exactly what they have in the in the example that might help you out because I don't see any problem with the way that you responded to number one besides that. So your correct answer should be C comma E ese grupo es fenomenal también. I mean, I think you should be good. So, you know, in all of these, you're going to need to respond with the word yes, which you're doing, but then put the word and. Um, change that demonstrative adjective. If it starts at this, change it to that. If it starts at that, change it to this. If it starts at these, change it to those. If it starts at those, change it to these. You're just kind of flipping it, but make sure that you're paying attention to whether it's masculine or feminine and whether it's plural or singular because those need to match up too. And then, of course, add the word tambien at the end, which I think you're already doing. So that one you should be able to fix pretty easily. But let me just go through one more so that you can kind of begin to work um, through this. So number two says, Estos cantantes son muy jóvenes. So the sentence reads, These singers are very young. So that means your response should be, Yes, and those singers are very young too. So you have C. Remember, put that little word and e. Um, so in the in here in the sentence, it says these singers. So you need to change this to where it says those singers. Okay. So if estos is these, then esos is how you would say those. Okay. So make sure you know the difference between all of those, and that'll help you out too. And then everything else is right. So add that little word and change this to those, which is esos. Okay, cantantes son muy jóvenes también. And that one should be good. And so just work through all the rest of those like that. You know, like um, this, uh, so in number three it says esta, which means this. So you need to change it to the word that. But see, you've changed it from masculine to feminine, and you, or from feminine to masculine, you can't do that. So esta means this. So you need to keep that feminine part of the word, which is the A at the end, but you, you know, you do what you did. So instead of ese, it should be esa. Okay. Um, like you did here, you did this one correctly. You changed the, um, nope, no you didn't, uh, sorry. <laughs> so number four, that is the word. So este means this CD, right? Este CD, this CD. So in your answer, it should say that CD. Um, but CD is still masculine even if you change it. So you can't change, you can't change this word right here into feminine when it was up here in the masculine, okay? So instead of esa, it should be ese. Keep it in the masculine, you're just taking, you're taking away that T, honestly, the, the letter T. Um, and then your sentence, so the sentence here reads, este CD sale ahora, which means the CD is coming out now. And so your response should say, yes, and that CD is coming out now too, or also. So just pay attention to those little details and I think you're going to get that one. And then let me go back to your other question. 
So this one is not as easy in terms of it's not just one little thing that you're doing. Um, there's a bunch of just little intricacies here. So number one, for example, says, ¿Quieres escuchar a estos músicos? Which means, do you want to listen to these musicians? So you're doing like you did in the other one. You're changing the demonstrative adjective to kind of the opposite of whatever they used in the question. So it's the question was, do you want to listen to these music musicians? So you're supposed to respond and say, no, I don't want to listen to these, okay? Or these ones. It's kind of a weird deal. Like it sounds funny in English, but it sounds right in Spanish. So you don't need to add... Like you did a number one, you know, you didn't add the word musicians. Because if you leave it like that, it just means those ones. And it's okay. You don't actually have to put esos musicos at the end. Or um, I'll explain that in a minute. But just let's look at number one. So do you want to listen to these musicians? So your response should be no, I don't want to listen to those ones. Okay, so no or no quiero escuchar. The only thing you've done wrong in number one is you didn't put the little A for the little word to. I don't want to listen a esos. And you're good because you changed this, you see this word here? You change it from these musicians to those ones. Okay, esos, which is exactly what you want to do. So look at number two. It says, vamos a ir a ese teatro. Are we going to go to that theater? So your response should be, no, we are not going to go to this theater. Okay, so basically your sentence is going to say the same, except you're going to change the word that to this, which Akel is like, um, so este with a T means this, ese without a T means that. And aquel means, it's like saying that one over there, like way over there. It's not a word that we have in English, so it's kind of funny. But you don't need to deal with that one in this, um, in this sentence here. Um, in fact, I don't think you're ever going to need to use it as one of the answers in these sentences. So it still translates as that. So it's, uh, so if, where'd it go? Okay. So number two, are we going to go to that theater? So your response should be, no, we are not going to go to this theater. So you need to change this word here, boy. You need to change that to, no, we are not going. Because um, you put, I'm not going. And that doesn't really make sense since they're asking you, are we going? Um, and then you change this word right here, akel, to mean this one. And then leave off the word theater. Because they're looking for you to say, no, we're not going to go to this one. You don't actually need to use the word theater. It's kind of confusing. If I were in person, this would be a lot easier for me to explain to you. Um, and let's do one more. Number three, it says, ¿Entiendes la letra de esta canción? Which means, do you understand the lyrics to this song? Or of or from this song? So your answer should be, no, I don't understand the lyrics of that one. Okay, you don't have to put the word canción at the end. Because if you leave it by itself, it just means like that one. So no entiendo la letra de, you know, change. You see in the sentence, they put this song, which means you need to change um, down here to say that. Okay, or just that one. So, and don't put the word canción at the end. Like up here, don't put the word teatro. Down here, don't put the word conjunto. I think that should help you out a little bit. I know this is confusing. And like I said, if I were in person, it would be easier for me to explain all of this to you. Um, but keep trying. If you're still having trouble after watching this video, feel free to ask me any specific questions and I will try my best to answer them. So good luck.